it's really hi everyone my name is avishek and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today i'm up here with another video related to aims bsc nursing and paramedical 2025 so yeah the dates of examination are out and also in my previous video i had said that the dates of form fill up of the examination are out that is the date of examination for nursing and paramedical are 1st of june 2025 and 28th of june 2025 respectively and the dates of form fill up for basic registration is 8th of april and uh, that of final registration is 17th of april so this is the basic about the dates so the exam is very nearby so it is almost mid april as of now when i'm shooting the video it's uh, 13th april so it's like uh, mid of april right now so for nursing guys you have uh, one one and a half months and paramedical folks you have almost two months left right two months one week left okay so many questions arise at this point of time that abhishek since there is uh, so little time left that uh, can we cope up can we clear the examination in the remaining time if uh, yes uh, what is the strategy what is the level etc etc so there are many questions and i will just give you today a sure shot strategy to prepare for this examination in this remaining time and this strategy will really help you in whichever level you are in the remaining time if you want to surely uh, crack this examination this strategy is a full proof strategy and this will really help you so before starting the video a short announcement that my short notes which i had used to clear the exam within 2 weeks only are available you can come to telegram and purchase the notes from me and if you purchase the notes i will put also provide you one on one mentorship till the examination that uh, so that's it let's begin the video so how to study what to study many people are saying i didn't start i didn't uh, i'm uh, i am studying little bit i am focusing on need this that so first and foremost you need to be calm yes you need to be calm you don't need to be worry for this examination a lot whichever point you are whether you have went started your preparation yet uh, you are partially prepared or you are fully prepared so the strategy for the remaining time for both nursing and paramedical will be as follows as i said right now so first and foremost the exam pattern for nursing will be 10 uh, uh, 30 questions physics 30 questions chemistry 30 questions biology and 10 questions is of uh, gk and that of paramedical is 30 physics 30 chemistry 30 biology that is paramedical is of 90 marks and nursing is of 100 marks so this will be for uh, the strategy will be for both so first and foremost let's come to the biology section biology section please stick to the ncert yes please only and only stick to the ncert when you are studying the ncert start studying the ncert between the line please remember each and every information every protocol every date every type uh, species etc whatever inf important information that you find please keep everything if you are not able to comprehend if you are not able to understand doesn't matters mug up biology simply mug up everything that you have in the ncert please mug up as it is as it is mug up and please go and write that the same in the paper if you really mug up the ncert as it is you will uh, secure minimum 28 out of 30 that is what i secured 28 out of 30 in biology right so in biology uh, almost more than 25 questions are directly ncert based that is if you have uh, have taken a very good look at the ncert you can easily solve it they are directly from the ncert more than 25 plus questions so biology is a scoring factor so if you want to score 25 plus stick to the ncert nothing beyond that stick 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 to the ncert second coming to the most uh, challenging section of this examination i would say physics physics consists of 30 marks and uh, more than 20 questions in physics minimum 20 question and uh, sometimes more than 20 question are directly formula based question yes that is 66% of the paper is directly formula based so out of 30 questions you will have 20 questions which are formula based and 10 questions you will be have based on the theory that which formula is applied over here or uh, which theory was explained by what what scientist etc etc but 20 questions will be directly formula based and how to solve those questions first remember the formula Uh, understand how the formula is being derived this is the main important thing many people say that i cannot remember the formula i cannot comprehend the formula so please understand how the formula is being derived how the law of gravitation is being derived how the uh, force between two uh, electronic potentials is being derived understand the entire derivation of the formulas and then you can uh, when you understand the formula then go and practice questions accordingly right so this is how you should practice physics and please practice questions understand the formula and practice questions and uh, where to um, uh, uh, where and from where to remember the formula because there are so many formulas so again i would say for physics formulas short notes will be best my short notes will be the best because those are a complete collection of all the formulas all the important formulas along with theories in short uh, short short periods so that will really help you my short notes will really help you if you want to comprehend formulas in physics okay so this was all about physics let's comes to chemistry so abhishek 
what to do for chemistry chemistry out of 30 marks 10 marks is physical chemistry 10 marks is organic chemistry 10 marks is inorganic chemistry 10 marks physical chemistry same as physics please stick to the formula formulas of electrochemistry formula of chemical kinetics formula of solid state formula of uh, thermodynamics formula of equilibrium anything just remember the formula and practice questions accordingly again if you have doubts with the formula my short notes will really help you come to the telegram and get them from me right so please stick to the formula and do questions respectively in physical uh, in case of physical chemistry coming to the inorganic chemistry the inorganic chemistry will have a same approach as that of biology that is completely mug up the formulas if you com completely mug up the concepts that is if you're not able to understand a concept please mug up and then go to the exam you will find same questions as it is of the ncrt and you can answer that right so in case of inorganic chemistry please 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 stick to the ncrt remember all the concepts as it is and please go and you can perform uh, please go in the exam and you can perform very well coming to the organic chemistry organic chemistry 10 marks it, it majorly consists of two main things first is the reaction mechanisms second is the named reaction again my short notes will have a very well comprehended list of the named reaction which will really help you so named reaction is very important for this exam uh, for this examination organic chemistry part and second is the mechanisms that is the hydride shift this shift that shift what is taking place electrophile attack nucleophile attack everything will be important right so that will be the important part in the organic chemistry so in the remaining time please in case of organic chemistry focus on mechanisms and named reactions so that's it and in case of gk for nursing girls please uh, focus on daily newspapers nothing much uh, gk is not of that high level so yeah that's it for today guys uh, this was the strategy video for the remaining time. If you like the video, do consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video if you find it helpful. And please leave a comment down below regarding your doubts. And that's it for today, guys. This is me, Abhishek, signing off. Thank you so much.